and uh, it was taking care of the football. You know, I think, you know, the game experience uh, had a little bit to do with it as well. You know, and, you know, you're coupling with an extremely young offensive football team. Yeah, we have some veteran players up front, but everywhere else, we're young. I believe we have 54 career receiving yards of our starting wide receivers, you know. And so I just think that uh, just the overall game experience and him taking care of the football, but, you know, I thought Nate Peterman did a tremendous job. Um, you know, Nate was the first one in today at 7 a.m. watching film. And, uh, you know, and then I thought our true freshmen, uh, both of them did an outstanding job, you know, and they were behind, obviously, mentally, physically, you know, and you could see a little bit of a, you know, I, I don't want to say a drop off, but you could see a little bit once school started, you know, and their experience in, you know, a full academic workload, they're exp experiencing college life, you know, they're, ex they're experiencing the day-to-day -day rigors of what it is to be a quarterback at this level, in any level you know, in college. So I think all that came into play. Were you surprised that the freshmen were able to wedge themselves into the competition given those things that you said that they were a little bit behind and physically and mentally from when they got on campus? No, I was, I was that's the reason why we recruited them. You know, and if you're a quarterback, where else would you want to play quarterback than the University of Tennessee? You know, it st starts with Peyton Manning. You look at our tradition. So we expect to have the best of the best and the way they performed is what we expect. And now they have a lot of room for growth and development in all aspects, but I like the progress that they've made so far. Are you expecting to play multiple quarterbacks Saturday? Or? You know, we'll see how the game goes. Uh, you know, right now, Justin Worley's our starter, and he's our starter. And, uh, I, you know, you get back to the question that was asked about looking over your shoulder. You know, I don't want our quarterbacks, if they make a mistake, you know, they're looking over and wondering when they're going to get the hook. That's not how I believe in developing quarterbacks, but they do have to produce. But, uh, you know, we have to be patient as well. In a perfect world, would you like to redshirt at least one of the true freshman quarterbacks, or are you thinking, thinking it along the lines of them playing something? We have to play the best individual who lead us to victory. In a perfect world, absolutely, we would like to redshirt one of those individuals. But uh, it's a long season, and, you know, it gets back to the thing you guys probably get sick and tired of hearing me say. It's just focusing on the process and winning the day. We have to win Monday in order to be able to get to Tuesday. And that's kind of the, the program model right now. Outside the offensive line, there's not a whole lot of leaders within the rest of the offense. How did Justin maybe set himself apart from the other guys in that leadership role? He's progressing. He's work in progress. Uh, he still has some improvement to go. Just like everyone on our football team is really learning leadership. And, you know, it's like I told Justin yesterday, it's, it's one thing to lead when things are going great. You know, the mark of a great quarterback is leading your team to victory in the one minute drill on the road. You know, and having that poise and that confidence, you know, that, that it takes to manage an entire offense. And so, you know, there's room for growth and development there, just like every single player in our football program. They still have to learn how to lead when things go wrong. You know, when we suffer adversity, and I've said it, this football team's going to be defined in how we handle adversity and how we persevere. And that's one of the things we tried to accomplish in camp, but you really never know until you get to the pressure of real a game situation where it's really for real. He does come across pretty soft-spoken. Would you like him to be louder yes. and a little bit more? And, yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, he's, he's the alpha male. He's the leader. You know, when things start to go wrong or when things don't go according to plan, which they very rarely do go according to plan, is all eyes are going to look on the quarterback. The way they manage the huddle before we take the field, the way they have a command presence, the way they take control of the line of scrimmage, that's what quarterbacks do. That's part of the job description of being a quarterback.